It's been two decades of democracy in Nigeria, being the most populous country in Africa. The progress of the continent to a large extent depends on our ability to get the polity right. Despite cluster development, the layman can still feel the impact of poor politics in Africa. We're live at the kickoff of a three-day conference tagged Fixed Politics, an initiative by a former vice president of the World um, Bank Africa Division and a former presidential candidate of Nigeria, Dr. Obi Ezekwisili. This initiative aims to redefine politics and democracy in Africa, improve economic development and tackle poverty. Even though we're discussing fixing politics, we don't, we're not discussing it from a partisan perspective. We're saying that there are structural issues that have made our politics to be defective. Speakers, panelists, participants and concerned Nigerians look forward to the results and suggestions from months of research as carried out by Dr. Ezekwesili in partnership with the Robert Bosch Academy. During the conference, I'm very much looking forward to hear about some of the findings and the whole work I've, I know that has been going on through the working groups um, and of course it's not just the, the inputs I very much hope that there's going to be a discussion um, with uh, I think up to almost 200 people um, visiting so I very much hope that there are new perspectives um, maybe new angles of views um, that we can learn from and then hopefully everybody as a team goes on with that initiative. It's all about reminding people about the power they have as citizens of the country. We're not just here for you know the four years, every four years activity. There's a social consciousness that people must start to imbibe, and not just imbibe, they must start to live out. So the thing about holding your leaders accountable, the thing about being aware what you what should accrue to you as a citizen, but also being aware of your responsibilities, right? It's not just what you can get, it's also what you're supposed to give back. I expect to hear some uh, consensus to, to get some consensus about rejigging the system that has held us captive to poverty. The electoral reform, what, where are we going to from here? You know, how is our elections going to be now? The, the state elections has gone, at least we have we had the BIOSA, we have all those ones. So now, what is the new thing we're expecting? Agreeing that politics in Nigeria and indeed Africa needs urgent fixing, this conference is expected to be an opportunity to address and reflect upon some of the issues plaguing politics on the continent. My country, our country Nigeria, is not in a good place at this time. Um, it hasn't been in a good place in a very, very long time. Uh, whether you're looking at our politics, whether you're looking at our economy, whether you're looking at our security, but they are looking at any which way you want to look at it. Nigeria is not in a good place at this time. And I believe that um, at, at times like this, it behoves enlightened citizens to really, you know, um, come together to begin to reflect on some of these issues that plague us as a nation. Everyone can tell you we're in a dire situation in our country. And this is a... a this is what's called an all-hands-on-deck sort of situation. Whatever you're doing, whether in sports, entertainment, um, oil, finance, tech, you know, if, if our country is going to be sustainable economically, it's going to be sustain, sustainable um, security-wise, we all have to get involved. We cannot continue to be this country that, on the one hand, has such incredibly gifted people who are contributing immensely to you know development in other countries and so on and then in our own country we are in this mess if there was a genocide in rwanda that tells you that politics is broken in africa in many countries in africa and uh, the way nigeria is going i think we all need to fix politics now elsie godwin reporting for plus tv africa